Welcome to IPOB Rapture Media, IPOB Press Release. July 12th, 2024, IPOB calls on IG of Police and the Defence Headquarters to dismantle the criminal military checkpoints in the South East. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, ably led by the great and indefatigable leader, Mazi Namdi Okukanu, raises alarm over the incessant military intimidation, harassment and extortion at the Kill and Bury military checkpoint mounted at Uku Orji in Imbaitolu, LGA, along Oweri Onicha Expressway. Indigbo passengers have been subjected to all manner of humiliation, torture, and forceful disappearances at the military and police checkpoints in the eastern region, particularly at the Kill and Bury military checkpoint at Ukwu Orji, along Oweri Onicha Expressway. The soldiers at this particular checkpoint deliberately keep all the vehicles that get to the checkpoint at 10 p.m. to around 12 a.m. until each vehicle pay them 5,000 naira before they can be allowed to pass to continue on their journey. Sometimes, after unnecessary delays and extortions by the soldiers at this checkpoint, the passengers are attacked and kidnapped on the way. The soldiers and police officers at this checkpoint are informants to kidnappers. They are professional armed rubbers who use guns and uniforms issued by the Nigeria government to intimidate and force people to part with their money or be delayed till the next day, or even be killed. Similar Incidents happen in all the military, and police checkpoints scattered all over the southeast region. The uncountable number of army and police checkpoints collect 5,000 naira or more from each vehicle in the southeast region, and make persons and vehicular movements difficult and expensive. The militarization of the southeast region is not only intimidating and oppressive policy of the federal government of Nigeria and her murderous security agencies, but it is also a plan to occupy Biafra territory. The security agencies of Nigeria also contravene UN Human Rights Commission rules regularly in carrying out their evil plans in Igbo land. The Nigerian government's economic strangulation policy against Ndigbo can be felt by all inhabitants of Igbo land. The excessive extortions at these military and police checkpoints make the cost of goods and transportation exorbitant compared to other regions of their country. Holding passengers at Gunpoint from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. is against fundamental human rights. All of that done in order to extort huge amounts of cash from travelers before allowing them to cross the army or police checkpoint. This shows that the Nigerian military is part of the criminality going on in Emo State and the entire southeast region. IPOB in the past has raised alarms that the military and police checkpoints in the east are part of the insecurity of kidnapping and car snatching gangs activities. The presence of these soldiers and police officers at various checkpoints has not reduced insecurity. Instead, the Nigerian soldiers at the checkpoints are humiliating, intimidating, raping our ladies, extorting money, and passing information to kidnappers. They are working with the kidnappers who deliver shares of ransom collected from kidnapped victims to them. IPOB is calling on the Nigeria Defense Headquarters and the Chief of Army Staff to withdraw and dismantle the military checkpoints in the east, particularly the checkpoint at Ukwu Orji on Oweri Onicha Expressway, if they care to maintain their remaining integrity. The Nigerian soldiers deployed at that checkpoint are part of the insecurity in the southeast region. The checkpoints are meant to protect innocent civilians while checkmating the activities of criminal elements terrorizing the communities. Instead of stopping the insecurity, these military men and women at these checkpoints are fueling insecurity, kidnapping, angering and frustrating the civilians on the roadways. The military checkpoints are extortion toll booths and information gathering for the kidnappers. Therefore, IPOB demand that the Nigerian army and police dismantle all the indiscriminately positioned criminal militia. Please don't forget to support the ESN at www.ipob.org. Thanks.